talk. I gotta tell what I feel. Study the problems of our people for a period of time and then come up with a new analysis and give us some new ideas and some new suggestions as to how to approach a problem that too many other people have been playing around with for too long. Ladies and gentlemen, I've got a big surprise for you. Yes, you! This is one last thing that a lot of people I know, because I'm from the Tacoma area. I'm born right at TG. Um, and Tacoma now being called, or Hilltop now being called Upper Tacoma. Right. There's a lot of people in that neighborhood that they have an opinion about that since it's always been called Hilltop. Um, and it's like it's trying to change its identity. There's different things that, that, that we'd like to change about the neighborhood and always improve. And it, and it has um, with some of the things you mentioned here. Um, what do you have to say to those people that are that, that you know, they, they really don't feel that? I feel like something's been taken from them because they're new people come in and things like that, but they're vested yeah, families yeah, have yeah. been here. Um, and things like that. What do you have to say to those people kind of about that? So I'm really glad you brought this up because the name Upper Tacoma was created, I think, back in the 90s when they were trying to undo what they thought was a bad reputation. So the city council, I think two years ago, we passed a resolution and we said that the name of that neighborhood is in fact Hilltop and we're going to own it and claim it because there's a history there and a legacy there. So Upper Tacoma may have been something that people tried to do, but as far as I'm concerned, it is Hilltop and always will be Hilltop. Now, with that, I think it's really important to recognize that a neighborhood should not be affordable because people think it's dangerous or that it's run down. So I have worked very hard as mayor to try and bring more services and more amenities to Hilltop. We have community gardens up there right now. We are going to bring light rail down MLK Way, and I deliberately chose that route because I want to see some public investment happening in that neighborhood. We are working with local businesses to set up opportunities for small business to be there free of rent for six months. So you're starting to see some change, and I'm really hopeful that we can get some momentum. At the same time, we do not want to price people on the hilltop because there's a legacy and pride in that neighborhood. So we want to bring amenities, improve the neighborhood, make it safer, make some investments, but also maintain the rich history that that neighborhood has. Right on. Thank you. And I think a lot of people that listen to this are really going to enjoy hearing that from you. Um, Because I know that's the main thing when I was out um, and found that I had the appointment to go ahead and interview you. That was one of the things, you know, I tried to ask some people, hey, and that was the thing that came up most um, throughout no, the neighborhood. And what I say to folks is, I mean, and you know, and you, and you hear people use terms like, oh, you're trying to push people out, you're trying to get rid of people. Mm-hmm. And I say to folks, why can't Hilltop have nice things? We should have a decent grocery store up there. We should have restaurants up there. We should have amenities and we should have light rail. So there's nothing wrong with that. And for me, bringing more services to Hilltop will actually improve everyone's quality of life. <laughs>